find a linear approximation. Just a tangent line. What makes it so hard? Well, look at the function. f of x equals 3, okay, signs off innocent, plus the integral from 2 to 2x, two the cosine of tx squared minus 4. So it's a function defined by an integral, which might give you some pause. But go back to basics. Always go back to basics, okay? What does a tangent line look like when you're trying to find the point of tangency somewhere near 1? How do we know it's somewhere near 1? Because it says, the last part of the question says, I'd like to use a linear approximation to estimate the function at 1.1. 1 .1. So the best way to do that is by getting the tangent line at 1. All right, so got to go back and remember, what does it look like to have an equation of a tangent line? And this formula comes from the fact that uh, we're using like a point slope. Y minus Y1 is M times X minus X1. So the F of X is equal to the actual Y1, the function, or approximately equal to the function plus the derivative at 1 times the quantity of X minus 1. If you move over the, the F of 1, you'll see Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. The derivative at 1 is your slope, and the function at 1 is your Y value when your X value is equal to 1. All right, so we're just going to plug in. All right, let's plug this in. Let's look at our function. What is our function when we plug a 1 in? Replace the X with 1, not the T, the X with the 1. What happens to the integral? It's the integral from 2 to 2. I don't care what's on the inside. You can't have any area when you don't have an X um, value, you know, an X interval that you're integrating over. You have a point from 2 to 2. So that thing is 0. 3 plus 0. The function at 1 is 3. All right. What about the derivative? To get that, we're going to need the fundamental theorem of calculus. This is actually a first semester calculus question. Fundamental theorem of calculus says that when you're trying to take the integral of a, der a derivative of an integral function, then what you're going to have to do is replace the dummy variable t with the function that is in the upper limit. But then chain rule says you can't stop there. You need to multiply by the derivative of the upper function in the the function in the upper limit. So we replace the t with 2x. Still needs to be squared. It still, still needs to take away 4. Still needs to be inside of a cosine. But don't forget though, we have to multiply by 2x's derivative 2. That's it. That's your derivative. Why did I forget about the zero part, the 3 part? Because the derivative is 0. All right. So we have the function at 1, 3. We have the derivative at 1. Well, let's get it now. It's the derivative at 1. Uh, so look look what happens. 2x will be equal to 2. 2 squared will be 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. It's the cosine of 0. Times 2. Okay. And cosine of 0 is a 1. So the derivative at 1 is 2, and the function at 1 is 3. Let's just plug them in. We have 3 plus... 2 officially times the quantity of x minus 1, but we're going to use the tangent line to evaluate the function. We're going to plug a 1.1 in to the tangent line. 1.1 minus the 1 is a tenth, 0.1. So we have 3 plus 2 times a tenth, which is a fifth, which is as a decimal, 0.2. 3.2 is our answer. That's it. Fundamental theorem of calculus, tangent line approximation. This is Calc 1. This is Calc 1. All right. My name is Nakaya Rimmer. I'm at calccoach.com. You can reach me um, there. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.